All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Harachakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, and greetings, salutations, blessings unto you, uh, elect out there. Shalom unto you. Um, we brought squad here with a, with a quick video, and um, just wanted to go into uh, the Lord's Prayer. Now, you know, going to it in the Hebrew and, and do all these uh, usual things that you see brothers uh, break this scripture down, but particularly this prayer down. Now, all I'm going to do uh, in this uh, video, Lord willing to edifying, is just to show you that it's spiritual things that you're asking for. All right. Bear with me one second. Let me start with another script. Okay, this is James chapter 4. And um, the point is in the third verse. Um, and I'll keep it simple. But basically, when you read into this chapter, I'll, I'll read it. It says, For whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence, even of your lust, that war in your members? Okay? Because there's a the flesh wants certain things, but that's not what we pray for. Okay? And that's what I'm going to highlight. It wasn't uh, the spirit. Specific, uh, specificity, if that's a word anyway, <laughs> um, specifically, it's not the things in, um, in Matthew, the sixth chapter that, um, but those type of things, those are more spiritual things, uh, when you examine them. Now I'm going to keep reading. It says, uh, verse two, it says, ye lust and have not ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Okay, because you ask for the wrong types of things. It says, ye fight in war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Okay, it says, ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lust. And when you really examine what you're asking for of the Lord, and what the great men that got these blessings asked for of Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, you know, even Yahweh Shai asking himself, when they were asking, man, they asked for spiritual things, man. They were asking for, for power to glorify the Heavenly Father, in, in, you know, in his works. Okay, same with Yahweh Shai. That's what they were asking for, man. Okay, those things. Okay, not not asking for, and they also glory the, 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 the Heavenly Father. Okay, and, and praised him in their prayers. Okay, and that's the, the level of prayer that we should be into. Okay, it says, uh, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? Okay, a lot of people out there asking for things of the world. We should be asking things of the Spirit. Okay, things that will, 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 will benefit us and profit us spiritually. Okay. And more so, things that will benefit us spiritually and benefit those around us spiritually. Ask for others. How many people are praying and asking for things uh, 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 for the benefit of others and not for themselves? Okay. It says, uh, whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High. So he ain't going to give it to you, man. If you ask for things that will that'll make you the man in the world, that make you wonderful in the world, you know, hypothetically speaking. You know, a woman be asking for a, a man, a good man, but then will define that good man by how much money he make, what kind of possessions he has, and how he's going to treat them versus what he's truly doing for the Lord, which will encompass maybe not the money in those uh, worldly possessions, but will possess all the things that are long lasting through the spirit. Okay. A man of edification, a man that's patient, you know, things that are deeper, man. Okay. And vice versa, you know, men asking for a wife or or asking, you know, not just for somebody to have fun and pleasure with, but somebody, you know, that's going to push you, not necessarily push you spiritually, but that's going to, you know, uh, um, keep you focused and not be a distraction to you so you can focus on the works of the Lord. All right. It says, uh, verse five, do you think that the scripture saith in vain? The spirit that dwelleth in us lusted to envy. 
You see? Envying the things, you know, you see, oh, I want a nicer car. I want a bigger house. Okay, but why? What you going to do in that big house? Are you going to, what you going to, where you going to go in that car? All right, is it going to help you uh, edify the church? Is it going to help you, you know, uh, do the, the right spiritual things? I'll read verse 6. It says, but he giveth more grace, wherefore he said, the most high resisteth the proud and giveth grace unto the humble. All right, so let's go back to Matthew. Okay, Matthew chapter 6. Uh, start at verse, uh, let me see. Matter of fact, I'll start up. Yep. Yeah. Um, verse 6. 9 is where the Lord's prayer is at, but verse 6 says, But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut the door, thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions, as the heathen do, for they think they that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Yeah, it's not about the value of words that you use. You know, please, 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 please. It ain't about that, man. Ask for the thing, get to the point, and move on. Okay? Start some, another prayer for something else. All right, it says, um, uh, but, excuse me, verse 8, it says, Be, be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of. Not that you want, but that you have need of. It's your flesh that wants things. But your spirit has needs. You know, the things you need to, to build your spirit up. Okay? To, 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 to make it to what we're trying to get to, which is salvation. Okay? Before you ask him, the father knows if you have need before you ask him. After this manner, therefore pray ye. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, the name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, right? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. He honored his name. Yahushai honored the Heavenly Father's name at the top. His position, that he's the Heavenly Father most high, right? Uh, he honored his name, thy kingdom come, that he knows the prophecy of him establishing his righteousness in the earth. That was set up from the creation, okay? Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Things are going to be perfect according to the will of the Heavenly Father. All right? Give us this day our daily bread. Ask for, hey, ask for that, man. Ask for, hey, can I, I need this so I can have my daily bread so I can push this word for you. Okay? And forgive us our debts as we forget our debtors. Okay, forgive us our debts as we forget the debts that people owe us. Okay, this is how you pray. Okay, those type of things. I know I, I owe such and such this and that. May he forgive that debt or, or I know such and such owe me. I gave him this. May he take that and may he grow in the spirit, blah, 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 blah. You know, it says, uh, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Those are the things you ask for. Please let me, you know. Get out of this ticket. I wasn't speeding. I hope this cop is having a good night. So on and so forth. Okay. You know that he don't come up having a bad day. That he, you know, that I'm not out there riding dirty and giving him reasons to pull me over. And I'm not speeding. And I'm not, not doing any of those things. But, you know, my uh, registration and insurance and, you know, maintenance on the cars. Of everything, man. You know. That I can discover these things and then bless me with the money, that daily bread, to know to invest in those things that'll make my my life easier to serve you, Lord. Okay, things of that nature. Okay, but deliver us from evil, from from the bad time. You know, um, you know when when we get down to the point where we're we're brought before uh, governors and kings and and, and and brought up on 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 before councils and whatnot. You know, being able to pray that the spirit flow through you, being able to pray that, you know, keep you from the evil to accept the judgments of whatever the will of the Heavenly Father is. Those things, man. You know, it says, uh, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. You know, 
reiterating the things that the Heavenly Father wants. Now, how do you know the things that the Heavenly Father wants? Well, it's written. Okay, throughout the book, it's written. Um, yeah, and then it continues to say about mercy and, and, and things in verse 14. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. Okay, but if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Okay. So not everybody does things to you uh, intentionally just to hurt your feelings, man. Just to just to just to mess with you, man. Just to get on, you know. Just to do things against you. You know, trying to hold you down, trying to keep you back, and you know. Sometimes the spirit got things working to see how you react to things. Sometimes the spirit got them going through a test to see how they react. And and everybody doesn't pass these tests, man. Let's be real about this. Not everybody's on the level where they make the perfect decision every time. Okay, this is still a learning process and we are not perfect. All right, this is the things that we pray for that I may be able to discern and make the right judgments and make the right decisions. Okay, these are the things that we really ask for. That's what the real content when you really examine the words of this, uh, this scripture. Okay, particularly the Lord's Prayer. Asking for spiritual things and not asking amiss. Okay, asking for things of the world. Nah, that's not, he's not going to grant you those things, man. Hey, some people, sometimes he'll grant you those things and let it, and let it destroy you, man. You know, so there's, it's a tight rope to be walking, but really you shouldn't even be asking. You should be focusing on spiritual things. Okay, so Lord, what of this was edifying. I just want to put this out there real quick. It was an inspiration of the brother uh, Barack Abar's video from New York. You know, he asked for something. And his video was called Pray, Pray, Pray. Uh, I'm going to see if I could uh, link the video in the bottom. But yeah, he was he mentioned that in his video about, you know, asking for things that, that make sense. You know, spiritually, not things that you just want, you know, oh, I need more money this week and, you know, just for, for so I can do this and that. You know, that, those are the things you, you look for. The, the Heavenly Father know you have need of these things. You stay on, on track with what you do. You endure when you come up short. Hey, and the Heavenly Father will fight for you. But you ask. And daily bread is something that he asked for. That he, that he said it was all right to ask for, man. Okay? You know, and these miracles, like the brother stated, but these miracles are coming. All right? The miracles are coming, man. The Lord fed a, 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 a large number of people. With just a few fish and a few loaves of bread, man. Thousands, okay? So so these things are coming, but it was something that was spiritual. It was literally, literally daily bread, something that they can eat, okay? To keep them sustained from hearing the word, man. They was following the Lord, sincerely or insincerely. But the point being, asking for something spiritual. That's a benefit to others as well, all right? Particularly a benefit to you in the spirit. So, Lord, what is was that a fine one? Give all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rachakwadash, that belongs to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, and greetings, salutations, blessings, unto the elect, to the next one. Shalom.